A superseding indictment filed in federal court lays out accusations of a conspiracy committed by six alleged members of a St. Paul street gang to commit violent crimes, including a string of carjackings. Two of these suspects were previously charged in state court in Ramsey County, but bailed out before allegedly offending again. U.S. Attorney Erica McDonald announced the new enhanced charges of conspiracy. Basically, if you're in a conspiracy, if you're in with other folks, you're in for a penny, you're in for a pound. Every case that we can take federally, we're going to. Three carjackings on the same day in August are highlighted on the court papers, all happening by 9 a.m. on Jackson Street, a subway parking lot, and near Metropolitan State University. McDonald says it's important to investigate the relationships, including gang relationships, of those allegedly committing carjackings. Because as cases rose exponentially last year in Minneapolis and St. Paul, she says often the same suspects were committing several crimes. Each carjacking, um, one individual can be responsible from anywhere from, you know, one to 14. What we are seeing is it's a coordinated effort among some who are committing most. And so the more that we can take off the streets, the curb, but the greater that we'll see to the curb to the violence. I truly wonder why the federal government would be involved in a case like this. Attorney Kenneth Udoibach, who represents one of the defendants in this case, says he believes the suspects are overcharged and the case should not be handled in federal court. This case is just a bunch of kids uh, alleged to be carjacking. I know is it's a is a serious offense, but at the same time, why so heavy-handed? Defendants are able to be detained without bail in federal court, which is another reason authorities like to go that route when they believe the charges fit. Lou Raguse, Carol 11 News.